Hello, my name is Harold, this is Tech on Tech, and today we're going to talk about computer networks. Okay, hopefully by the end of this video you will have a little better of an idea about how networks in the internet work, so you can do things like troubleshoot networks for companies the size of Google. But not really. Now, before we get started, you'll probably notice that we're using a Minecraft studio in place of having an actual studio. Now, the truth is, I don't really have enough room to make a studio happen, so instead we're going to have to make use of this, which actually does not look too bad with ray tracing and everything enabled. So, oh, and I have chosen my favorite skin from one of my favorite YouTubers, Rest in Peace Technoblade. Uh, by the way, if you've never watched any of his content, it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, go check him out. But for now, let's go ahead and get right down to the business of today. Now, before we start on networks, we should probably do a quick breakdown on how computers work. And to do that, we're going to take a computer and break it down to its most basic component, and that is a light switch. A computer at its absolute most basic component is a light. A one or a zero representing one for on and zero for off. This is where we get ones and zeros and trillions of ones and zeros is how we get languages, programs, and even networking. Now, eight ones and zeros form a bit. Eight bits form a byte. One million bits form a megabit, and one million bytes form a megabyte. In fact, it is from these that we get the terms used in internet connection marketing. <laughs> internet connection marketing, that's why a 50 megabit connection will only download at about 5 megabytes a second. Because a megabit and a megabyte are completely different things. A megabyte is 8 megabits. So that's why a 50 megabit connection can only download at... Make sense so far? <laughs> okay. Alright. Another thing to note is that a lowercase b is always a bit and an uppercase b is always a byte. I'll show you something on screen here to kind of elaborate on that so you can uh, so you can uh, see what that looks like. Uh, but yeah, it's important. Megabit and megabyte are two different things. A megabit is how fast the connection is. Well, megabyte is how fast you actually download something within that connection. So there's the distinction there. All right. Next thing, computers transmit these ones and zeros using a series of different devices, each with different capabilities and different things each of these devices can do. Hubs, switches, routers, bridges, gateways, modems, repeaters, and access points, to name a few of those devices. Uh, I'm going to show you, probably on screen here real quick, uh, probably one or two of the more important ones. Uh, routers are especially important. They're primarily how traffic moves around the internet. Um, access point and additionally routers are how typical home internet connection works. And bridges, gateways, switches, hubs. Well, you find switches more in business-oriented places where you have lots of computers connected together. And hubs, well, nobody really uses hubs anymore. In fact, in computer networking terms, they're known as a stupid device. All right, now I'm going to take one second just to switch over and move this here. So let's do that. Okay, now because one device is not necessarily going to know the language of another device, we need something called a protocol so that both devices can understand what's being said. Similar to people needing to understand the same language, devices need a similar language called a protocol to understand each other. TCP IP is the most common 
transmission protocol for networking in the internet. In fact, it is from this we get another important term, an IP address, which is something that every device needs to connect and communicate on the internet. In fact, an IP address is a designator for your computer. Your computer has an IP address, so the information knows where it originated and where to send that follow-up or reply information to. So if I go to a website, it needs your IP address to know where to send that information back to. Make sense so far? Good. All right, the next thing, let's see. Give me just a second. Okay, real quick on screen, I'm gonna show you how to find the IP address of your computer. It is literally a matter of just opening up CMD. And then in this black window, uh, same thing, you have to use your keyboard for this and typing IP config and then enter. Now it may take a little bit of scrolling around, but you should be able to locate a number that looks like this. This is your computer's physical IP address. It is your designator and while this can get really complicated really, really fast, I would also like to show you this IP address because these IP addresses aren't really used on the internet as often anymore because we ran out of numbers. And so now we are using these here. In fact, this one right here is Google's IP address or what we call an IP version six IP address. And well, we thought that would be neat to show. Okay, so part three in the quick and dirty networking class that we're doing here, uh, you're probably familiar with something called lag or in some cases ping. So wireless is, well, let's, let's start from the beginning. So wireless is probably going to take over all computer connections in the future. It's rapidly catching up to things like cable, DSL, and fiber. In the old days, you would never connect your computer to a home router via wireless if you were a serious gamer because the latency on wireless is higher and more unstable than it is on a wired connection. In fact, it is still better today, but just barely, to use an ethernet cable than it is to go wireless, but wireless is rapidly catching up to it. Now, if you put a satellite in the middle, so you have to connect through a satellite, because you have to send that signal to the satellite and back again, there's going to be a longer delay because the signal has to go all the way to orbit and back. Well, because of that, that delay from your computer to the computer you're talking to, like say a server for a game or a website, uh, they have a word for that. It's called latency or ping. That is the time it takes to get from your computer to the other computer and back again. Now, in the particular case of ping and latency, if it gets too high in a game, you get what's called lag, which is a delay in the game because you're just not getting the information fast enough to keep up with, say, other players and stuff like that. So ping and latency is how long it takes to go from your computer to the server and back again. And lag is what happens. That's that delay, that jumpiness, that it can't find where the player is supposed to be because it's getting inconsistent information. And that is due to a prolonged delay or extended delay or a delay that is too long. And by the way, this especially happens on certain satellite services. In fact, satellite services like this additionally have always had this problem because they use a kind of high earth orbit. And when you shoot the signal way up there, here, let's go way up there and then you shoot it back down again, it is so long that most games will not even function because you're a full half a second to a second behind every other player and the server making the game completely unplayable. So now I should also add that Elon Musk Starlink does not suffer as much from this because they're not high earth orbit, they're actually low earth orbit so the signal does not have to go as far but i should note that there is still more latency on a satellite connection wireless and then there's virtually no latency on a wired connection in fact actually it's worthy to note that a wired connection is pretty much instant unless it gets overwhelmed and it doesn't have any uh bandwidth left but we'll leave that for another day so that pretty much covers 
All right. So another term that I want to go ahead and, in fact, actually it's two terms. We have basically ones and zeros that are being transmitted over the internet by devices like routers and switches and bridges and stuff like that. Uh, All right, so the next two terms I want to show you are Java and HTML. Now, you probably heard these before. In fact, Java and HTML are also kind of like a protocol. They are a language that both your computer and the server both know. And using TCP IP and transmitting ones and zeros, well, Java and HTML are kind of what you're transmitting. You see, you need a language that's common between the two computers, and once you've got a way to transmit the information, now you need the information itself. And with a browser, the common language between your computer and the servers The common browser language for Chrome is Java and HTML. Got that? Okay, so we transmit ones and zeros over these devices. We can transmit them over wired and wireless. Wired is so far better, but just barely. Uh, we use protocols like TCP IP to do that. And then the stuff you transmit in the case of a browser is Java and HTML. And what that does is when you send a request to say google.com, it sends you back a bunch of Java and HTML information, which your Chrome or your Internet Explorer or your Edge put together into a it's a facto web page. So from top to bottom, I suppose this is a really quick and simplified version of what the Internet is and also a quick and simplified version of what networking is. Um, I will also go ahead and throw in terms like cloud computing, which is like uh, basically just like having a computer, except it's online where it does all the processing and stuff like that. And then you just get the end result. Internet of thing devices are basically like doorbells that can connect to the internet and connect they do. We have a lot of devices these days that connect to the internet for some reason or another. These are known as Internet of Thing devices. In fact, any device besides a computer that connects to the internet, uh, here's a couple on screen for instance, these are all Internet of Things devices. Not necessarily computers, but devices that use uh, the internet as a kind of backbone. Uh, let's see, these are local area networks would be like a bunch of computers inside of an office uh wide area networks or wans are the internet uh wide area networks uh basically very very large networks uh like the internet are wans uh small networks like in an office building are lans l-a-n-s um there's probably a lot more to networking that we can get into um here's uh here's some interesting facts to know uh, Ethernet, this cable right here, looks like an oversized phone cable. That's because it is. In fact, Ethernet, the general, the now it's a facto networking standard, is based on a phone plug. In fact, it is. It is an oversized phone plug. Uh, in fact, it's based on the same technology that phone cables came from, or it's based on the same technology that phone cables were designed from so yeah they just when they decided to do networking they just decided to take a phone cable and then just make it bigger and there you have it that's uh that's an ethernet cable um admittedly there is a lot more to this that i would have liked to have talked about but i will probably have to cut it there for the sake of time in the video Guys, if you are interested in this topic and would like to learn a little more about it, let me know. I am actually a certified computer technician, system administrator, network professional. I do know a lot about this stuff. And I'm hoping in at least some small part that this will kind of connect a couple of the pieces for you if 
not for the fact that I might be a little more confusing. But that said, uh, if you have any comments about this uh, and would like to see more of it, maybe, um, oh, more information on the subject of networking, how it works, perhaps how to program a router at home or something like that, let me know. I would definitely do something like that if I knew there was a need or a bunch of people who wanted to know how to do it. Um, but with that, I will leave this video the way it is, and we will see you next time.